Welcome to Code 5 Art. Today I'm doing the letter C, and uh, C is actually a pretty important letter because if you couldn't tell, but Code 5 Art starts with a C, so I need to be able to do this letter and do my name uh, correctly and with some, some nice style. So that, with that being said, I'm just gonna dive into it. If you look into the description, as always, I should have links to the A's that I've done, the B's I've done, and I'm gonna continue on through the alphabet like this. So this is my third video into this series. Let's dive into it. So C can be really tricky once you start getting some style in. You want to make sure that the bottom doesn't curve anywhere towards the inside because then it's going to start looking like a G. If you have any of your style up here, start to curve on the inside here, then it's going to look like an E. Um, also, if you you try to get this uh, these two close to each other, it could just be an accented O. So. To make something uniquely a C, you have to toe the line quite a bit. So let's uh, let's go into be let's dive into some more creative aspects and see if uh, we can make sure that we keep the C character with it. So some of the common things that I'm trying to do is just this hard uh, upper piece where you kind of are doing this motion for the C. We go down and around. That's kind of a unique thing. And trying to keep this as straight as possible because when you start getting inside, you run the risk of maybe turning it into looking like a G. And especially if you have a hard line here. So if I were to do this, then that definitely looks like a G. So we gotta be creative, but also not confusing, right? Instead of doing drop shadows today, I want to do 3D. And when it comes to 3D, you want a point of perspective. And I'm going to make mine right here, with this little Christmas tree. So all the 3D is going to go to this point. It's good to have a reference point. Let's do it. I'm going to go the furthest away first. Oh, you know what? That's what rulers are for. <laughs> Instead of doing every single corner with my lines for the perspective, if I just get the two farthest points from each other, then I can get a good gauge of what kind of angle I'm getting from the perspective along the spectrum.
All right, cool. Let's get out some outlines. Not sure how I'm gonna fix that. Once you ink it, it's pretty much uh, done for. Unless you. Totally embrace it. And even then, it's not that great of an accent. But uh, I just need to get rid of these sketch lines. And I've called in my trusty pal, Chase. Chase is on the case. Bum, bum, boop. All right. Sketch lines are gone. That was, that was good practice. I felt really good about that one. Good to get some uh, extra 3D practice. Get that perspective out of there. Um, as always, um, like and subscribe if you like what's going on here. Uh, I'm gonna plan on continuing this effort uh, all the way through a through Z, zero through nine. And then, you know what, I think I'm, I might keep going. I might keep on going to other letters of other languages, but that's it guys. Thank you and you guys have a good day, all right? Go out and make something cool. Just let me know about it. Oh, also, let me know in the description what is your favorite letter. And then hopefully maybe I can put that on a wall sometime. But enjoy. And you guys all have a good day.